Hey everybody, it's Emily from ARG Schooling and today I'm doing a Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group started by Ginger from Ginger Reads Laney and I will link all that information below. Today's topic is books that you did not finish, DNF. So I DNF a lot of books and I wouldn't say that all of the books that I DNF and especially the books I'm going to show you today are bad books. They're just books that for whatever reason I didn't finish and maybe I will finish at some point. Hopefully some of them I really want to finish and some of them I just know that I'm never going to and that's okay too. I DNF books for generally two main reasons. One, I just don't like the book. It's not working for me. I can't, I, it's either like a really bad book or just something that doesn't work for me. And two, I'm reading a book that isn't quite working for me, even though I know I'm going to like it or I would like it and I just can't get through it for whatever reason. Okay, so all that said, let me show you my top five books I did not finish. Number one, and these are in no particular order. Number one, Misery by Stephen King. I love Stephen King. His books are fantastic most of the time, but this book just was not working for me. I saw the movie first because I saw the movie when I was like a kid and I thought it was a crazy movie. And so when I got the book, I wanted to really get into it. And this book is so depressing. And I think I want to say he wrote this while he was depressed and I can tell. And I just was like, oh. I felt myself sinking into a depression while reading it. So this book, I had to stop reading because I was like, I just can't, I can't be in this mindset anymore. So I had to put the book down. And I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it, honestly. Next up on the list, The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Now, I love The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Those are like my favorite books. And I've read them numerous, numerous times. And so I really wanted to read The Silmarillion, and I have a goal. I'm going to read it. At some point in my life, it will happen. But I have probably DNF'd this book like six times. No, I don't know what it is. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who has to DNF this book numerous times either, because I, I don't know. I've always heard this is a hard book, and I was determined to overcome that, and it just never happened. So someday, Silmarillion... Someday I shall conquer you. Next book is a monster. Les Miserables. I love the Broadway play. I love it so much. I, I have been watching it obsessively. I own the um, 10th anniversary version of it, which is what I've seen like so many times that I could probably sing the entire score by heart. And um, I just, I've always loved it. And I bought this book when I was like 15 or 16, like, I'm going to read the the whole book. And no, no, I, I've never made it more than 50 or so pages in, I think. No, I take that back. I think I, I once made it like 150 pages in, and then I was just like, I can't, can't do it. And it kills me because everyone who is loved, I, like I've talked to people who said this is their favorite book. They love this book. And I want to love the book. I do, but I just can't can't. My brain just can't take it in. And I've read lots of classics and I like classics. I can read hard books, but for some reason I can't read this book. I don't know. I did, I did read the abridged version once, but I really want to tackle this someday. I just don't know if it ever will happen. So I'm just going to hold on to this book for the rest of my life until at some point I can manage and make it happen someday. Next one I'm a little embarrassed about honestly. And I wasn't going to show you, but you know what? I'm gonna. Sense and Sensibility. I have no explanation for this one. I literally don't. I love Pride and Prejudice. I've read Emma. I've read Mansfield Park. I read Mansfield Park, and I would say that's probably the weakest of her books, because it's just, like, unlikable characters all the way around. I love the movie. The one, you know, with, with um whose name? Kate Winslet? Yeah. And I, I love that. I love that movie so much. This book, 
I don't know why. I don't know why. I've three times I've started this book. Three! And I have never finished it. I have no explanation. I don't. I, I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jane Austen. I love you, but this book, for whatever reason, does not work for me. I, next book is an ebook. I got the, a burnable book. And I got this because it's historical fiction. It's about a book. It's in England during like the time when Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer was alive, and it just sounded really cool. And I got about, I don't know, 30% in, I want to say, and I was just like, I can't. And it's not that it's a bad book. It was good. But I was just, I don't I think, too, I, I have to, the books I read on my Kindle are books that I generally read at night when I'm going to bed because I can't have a light on in my room because my husband can't sleep if there's a light on so I usually lay on my side and like put this under my blanket and I can read in the dark because the screen has a light but I don't know I, I just this book was like it kept putting me to sleep so fast like I would read three or four pages and fall asleep and I'm like what is going on so yeah I don't know I don't know what it is, but it just wasn't... I, I want to read it at some point because it does sound like a really good book and one that I think I would really like, but I maybe just will wait until like I'm on a vacation and have like free time during the day to read it because I just... This is not a good bedtime book, apparently. So I gave up. So those are the five books, or five books that I will show you, that I did not finish. So are there any books that you have DNF'd for no good reason? I, what, what books did you not finish that you probably should have, but for whatever reason could not? I'd like to hear about it. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy reading.